pressure testing on a Minmark or any automatic Tutton Hour. This is the gauge, comes with the Minmark kit. You can buy any pressure gauge, um, any fluid pressure gauge. Just make sure your skill goes up to at least 40 so you don't blow the gauge. Because if you're going more than 40 psi, you're going to blow your safety relief anyway. So that's as high as you need to go. Minmark does a 60. These are cheap, you can buy them anywhere. Uh, has a nice rubber boot because it's going to get hot because we're dealing with steam. This way you can touch it without getting burned or damaging anything else. Comes with these two tubes. Don't need them. You can just pull this one off. Keep that as an extra for this one wears out or cut it too short. And down here is our pressure sensor. Tenor has the exact same one, it's just not soldered to the board. Again, this is not applied to manual. Just pull this guy off. Pop on here. And the other end right there. Make sure you got a good fitting. This cable tie is super loose. So you want to tighten that a little bit. There's your gauge. This little red dial lets you not have to sit here and watch. So it moves when the pressure moves the black dial. It also automatically moves the red one. So you can come back after you've hit an error or it's shut down or the cycle or whatever. And the red will stay where it was so you can see how high it reached. If this is too tight, you're not getting an accurate reading from it, so make sure it's nice and loose, okay? Now, when you're done testing, pull this off. Be careful, you don't want to break that. You'd be, you'd be in a lot of trouble if you break that. This board ain't cheap. Put the original hose back on, and make sure this cable tie is tight. This one, whoever put this on, did not tighten, or they cut too short, so it's broken off. You need the cable tie on here. Otherwise, the pressure's gonna blow this off. It's gonna leak everywhere. And you're gonna nasty service. That's it.